Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Going over to the Riedemerger Brow House, and uh, this is a beer that they brew under the name of the Benedictina Abtei Plankstetten label. Um, I'm not sure about the, the history of this specific um, brewery, whether it's like it's got some historical uh, factors to it, or if it's just a line that Riedemerger do. I'll be putting links down though. I should always rarely do some research before these videos, I know. But uh, yeah, it's a beer that's brewed at the Riedenberger Brow House, um, a brewery that I've got a hell of a lot of time for. In fact, they were probably the first German craft brewer that I got to know um, with the, um, their Dolden Sud, which is a really good IPA. Well, it's more of a pale ale, I find, but it has evolved quite a fair bit and it was fantastic when I first tried it. So uh, yeah, this is the Maybach, which is clocking in at 6.5%. So I'm not too clued up on the, the history of the Maybach, but I've got a little bit of text um, about the style. So I'll quickly, very awkwardly read it to you off camera. So Maybach is the name given to the buckwheat, which is usually sold in the period from April to June. That's not buckwheat, that should be... Bock beer. Uh, the Maybock is a lower fermented starch beer with an alcohol content of more than 6% ABV and corresponding original wort. Maybock is preferably a light and less sweet, preferably hopped starch beer or stark strong beer. In the approach, a high carbohydrate content is sometimes used for Maybock in order to offer a sweetness despite the fermentation. So, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of box and doppel box and that sort of thing. And I've not had too many my box. So I'm going to put information down below, various resources to the history and the uh, cultural significance of the style itself. But, um, yeah, uh, Beretta, the, the Beretta Beer Bar were hosting an event where they were having this beer sort of like alongside the... My Bock that's brewed by uh, the Spital Brewery, which is here in Regensburg. And uh, yeah, so I picked this up from Beretta and I thought I'd give it a go because I've had a couple of the um, beers under this line and they've been really interesting. And like I said, I'm a big fan of the Riedenberger Brow House. So I'm going to quickly read you what it says on the label. Uh, I'm going to Read it in very broken German and then I'm going to try and translate it for you. So, the erste Mai war immer ein wichtiger Tag für die Freunde der Klosters Plankstetten. Dieser starke und säftige Maibock, der aus dunklem Gerstemalz, or Malz, yeah, it's going well this, uh, Liegestellt wird, bin ein Genuss für München und Beerfreunde. So, uh, yeah, royally, royally butchered that. But it's basically saying the 1st of May was the important day for the friends of the, um, the Plankstetter. Fucking hell. Just on camera. So my bock is the name given to the buckwheat, which is usually sold in the period from April to June. That's not buckwheat, that should be bock beer. Uh, the my bock is a lower fermented starch beer with an alcohol content of more than 6% ABV and corresponding original wort. My bock is preferably a light and less sweet, preferably hopped starch beer or stark strong beer. In the approach... A high carbohydrate content is sometimes used for Maybach in order to offer a sweetness despite the fermentation. So, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of box and doppel box and that sort of thing, and I've not had too many Maybach. So, I'm going to put information down below, various resources to the history and the uh, cultural significance of the style itself. But, um, yeah, uh, Beretta, the, the Beretta beer bar, were hosting an event where they were having this beer sort of like alongside the Maybach that's brewed by uh, the Spital Brewery, which is here in Regensburg. And uh, yeah, so I picked this up from Beretta 
and I thought I'd give it a go because I've had a couple of the um, beers under this line and they've been really interesting. And like I said, I'm a big fan of the Riedenberger Brauhaus. So I'm going to quickly read you what it says on the label. Uh, I'm going to read it in very broken German and then I'm going to try and translate it for you. So, der erste Mai war immer ein wichtiger Tag für die Freunde der Klosters Plankstetten. Dieser starke und säftige Maibock, der aus dunklem Gerstemalz, or Malz, yeah, it's going well, this, uh, liegestellt wird, bin ein Genuss für München und Bierfreunde. So, uh, yeah, royally, royally butchered that. But it's basically saying the 1st of May was the important day for the friends of the um, the Plankstetter. Fucking hell. Just so read it in very broken German and then I'm going to try and translate it for you. So, der erste Mai war immer ein wichtiger Tag für die Freunde der Klosters Plankstetten. Dieser starke und säftige Maibock, der aus dunklem Gerstemalz, or Malz, yeah, it's going well, this, uh, liegestellt wird, bin ein Genuss für München und Bierfreunde. So, uh, yeah, royally, royally butchered that. But it's basically saying the 1st of May was the important day for the friends of the, um, the Plankstetter. Fucking hell. Just sounds so dumb. Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Today we're going over to the Riedenberger Brauhaus and we're looking at a beer that they brew under the name of, uh, Benedicta, Benedictine... Benedictina Appetite Plankstetten. And yeah, completely butchered that one. I've had a few, oh, a couple of beers, so it's not that my German was that good anyway. But um, yeah, this is uh, essentially, to cut a long story short, a Maybach clocking in at 6.5%. I'm not keeping that, that's bullshit. 